G'day, in today's video I'm just going to load up the BIOS on the Delta 15 A5 EFK. To do that it's relatively straightforward, once we're in there I will go have a quick look and see what options we have for tweaking this laptop. But to begin with, I'm going to hold down the shift key, click on windows, click on power and click on restart. So I'm still holding shift, now I'm telling it to restart and from here we'll be able to tell it to load up into the UEFI or the BIOS and we'll have a bit of a look around. Go. I'm still holding down the shift key. Now I can release it. I'm going to use the arrow keys to navigate to get to where we need to get to. So I'm going to go troubleshoot, advanced, firmware settings, yes. We'll cause the machine to restart one more time. And from here, let's see. It is currently running the latest version that I can get at the moment. So if we go storage info, we have a one terabyte NVMe. It looks like we may have another slot available on the board. I haven't opened it up to find out. We've got the Ryzen 7 5800H and 16 gig of RAM, Wi-Fi 6E, and the BIOS build is 107. We go to advanced. And let's see, we can switch the function keys over. Virtualization, resizable bar, MAC address. All fairly standard stuff. I'm assuming there will be another BIOS menu hidden. But this will do to see what's here today. So that's this, the very bare bones BIOS of the Delta 15 A5 EFK. I'm going to go discard changes and exit. That will do and I'll see you guys later. Bye.